Hey everyone, welcome back to Anchored Life with Kayla. Today I'm sharing all the juicy details on how I knew my husband was the man for me. Before Bruce and I started dating, I had thought it'd be a great idea to know someone for a full year before starting to date them, just so you can really get to know them. That is not what happened with Bruce and I at all, actually. We met a couple months later, started dating, and then five months after we started dating, I moved to Sydney, Australia for a whole year to go to Hillsong College, and we did long distance for that entire year. Doing long distance helps so much in really getting to know someone. We figured that if we were still together by the end of the year, things were going well, then we should just get married because we'd already been through such a challenge of trying to make things work and flourish and just building on our relationship, communicating all those things while we're in totally different hemispheres. But I am getting ahead of myself and need to back up a little bit here. When I first met Bruce, I thought perhaps he was a little bit too quiet and a little short for me because he's a little bit shorter than me. But once I saw his muscles, I was intrigued. And you go ahead and laugh at that, but I am not ashamed to say it, it happened. So we like to joke that I married him for his muscles and he married me to be his trophy wife. It is what it is. Kidding, guys. Obviously, there is more to picking a spouse than just what they look like, even though that is an important part. We sometimes don't like to talk about that, but it's true, you need to be attracted to your spouse. Uh, but the other things that are super important are your values and how they treat people and where you guys wanna go in life. Are you guys compatible with those things? The thing I was most looking for in a husband was a man who was genuinely living a faith-filled Christian life. Because as a Christian, that is so important to me. My faith is what just grounds everything in my life. So for me to have a spouse that didn't line up with those same beliefs as me, I would feel like we were just pulling back and forth and not able to really get on the same page with things. So that was super important to me. Obviously faith is important to Bruce because I was able to check that box and move on. And he has so many other great qualities that I was looking for in a relationship. So right from the start, we were able to talk so easily and we would just talk and lose track of time. And obviously we had to do a lot of talking when we were doing Skype all the time when I lived in Australia. Uh, I think our record for the longest Skype session was about five hours. And let me just say here, no offense to Australia, but your internet is very bad. So it was a very frustrating year trying to get a good connection so that we could actually talk to each other. I'm glad the long distance days are behind us. The thing about dating someone and being attracted to them is that you can let the physical part of your relationship really take over everything else and you're missing out on actually getting to know the person really well and figuring out if this is someone that you're actually compatible with because your life is not just a bunch of physical moments. There are struggles, there are challenges, you gotta go to work, you gotta pay the bills, you have relationships with other people, so you need to figure out, is this someone that I can do these things with, that I can go through life with? Not just physical compatibility, but can we have fun together? Do we have common goals? Do we make each other better? Do we have some of the same interests? Can we make it through challenges together? Do we communicate well? All these things are so important to look at. So the fact that we were only Skyping for a year, minus a little break there when Bruce was visiting me in Australia, which was so lovely, we were on Skype, which meant no physical contact whatsoever. So we really did have to rely on our communication and talking to each other. So that got us to a deeper place where we were actually able to really get to know each other and know who the other person was and if we wanted to continue with the relationship. Something else that was super important to me and a husband was to have really great in-laws that could take me in as their own and that we would just have a great family relationship. I happen to know Bruce's cousin from way back when we worked at camp together. So I already knew one of his family members and I was able to ask about the rest of the family and she was able to vouch for them and kind of tell me about the family. So that was good for me to hear that I wasn't getting involved with some crazy family who would just be causing problems the rest of my life. I have lovely in-laws to clarify and I'm not just saying that in case they might watch this video, it's true. 
If you're wondering how to know if you should marry him, you should be thinking about things like, do I want to have a family with this guy? If you want to have kids, is he someone that you would want to raise kids with? Do you think that he's a hard worker? Is he going to be able to provide for your family? Or if you're the one providing for the family financially, is he going to be able to work hard and keep the family and the home going? Someone's got to do it. Is he loyal, trustworthy, faithful? Those are things you definitely want to have in someone that you're pledging to spend the rest of your life together with. And do you have some common goals and interests that are going to be bringing you in the same direction instead of pulling you apart over time? Bruce and I don't have a lot of shared interests. We have a few and those are good enough for us. But make sure that you have at least a few things that you enjoy doing together so that you can actually have something that you both enjoy to spend time together doing and to build your relationship. One thing I'd like to point out is that staying married is a choice. So whether you have been married for a year or you've been married for seven years like Bruce and I, or you've been married for 70 years, marriage is a choice that you have to make every single day. You are going to stay faithful. You're going to keep showing up for your relationship. You are going to keep building into them even when the other person isn't being very lovable or maybe you're not being very lovable. It's something that you can't just rest and let happen. It's something that you have to keep investing in. I heard once that you need to think about your marriage like you guys are Adam and Eve. The other one is the only one in the world, literally, for you. And so when you look at it that way, okay, well, I better be building this relationship and making it better because it's the only one I've got. There's a little bit of the story for you on how I knew my husband was the man for me. If you want to know more, you have questions about our relationship, about marriage in general, let me know down in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you always know when my videos come out and I will see you guys soon.